Now let's take some time to describe how to use variable presets to create a group and a setting within that group, and then later how to delete settings. So the first thing you'll want to do is type a new group name, let's call it test in this example, and then add. Now notice that nothing is active because we haven't defined a setting where we can add variables yet. So let's call this set1. And when we click add, you can see that the variable browser is activated where we can add or remove variables, or we can click and drag. So we can go for cross section one, change it to say twist, add the variable, and you can see that it's active here. If we don't need that in, we simply click delete variable and it removes it. A much faster way is to simply click and drag and drop these where you want them. So we've added a few variables to this setting and notice that we don't have to save any changes because none of the parameters have been modified. It's just grouping them all together. Now, if we want to apply this or if we want to change between groups or settings, let's go back to surface resolution, go to low and click apply. Notice how the create preset has updated with the current surface resolution group and the low setting. So when it's talking about the edit buttons here that either save changes or delete current, it's talking about whatever setting is defined in these two boxes. That is your current preset. It doesn't matter if I come up here and choose high and then delete. It will get rid of this setting down here, which is low. So in order to get rid of a setting, choose the group that you want, highlight the setting, apply it first so that it's updated here. Now we can delete it and it gets rid of it that you can just reapply whatever preset of your choice and it will activate all of these variables in the bottom.